Hey, I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel amazing in your own body, skin, and mind. And today, I'm gonna help you feel amazing in your body and help you stand taller. That's what these next five stretches are about. It's going to feel so good, and you're gonna walk out just feeling so regal, tall, proud, and confident. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be using a strap, a yoga strap. If you do not have one, you can use a towel or a sweatshirt or anything like that. It really can be anything that you have around you. So grab your prop and let's get started. So for our first exercise, we're gonna stand our feet outside of our shoulders, okay? So the world is leaning forward, right? Everyone's leaning forward. We've gotta bring it back. We gotta pull those shoulder heads back. These shoulders are starting to be over here like this. So I want you to do a quick check in your own body. Where do your shoulders sit? Mine kind of sit a little forward. And so where do yours sit? Do they sit forward or do they sit to the side? Or are they back? Are they all the way forward? So there's this glenohumeral joint right here. And this is the little ball that's inside that makes the shoulders go around. But the shoulders are actually supposed to sit on your side. But most of our shoulders are here. So just take a quick little self-assessment here and see where yours are. Just have your arms relaxed. Where do yours sit? So. By the end of this video though, we'll be able to open it up and really see a difference in your posture so that you can stand taller. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take the strap and they're gonna be wider than our shoulders and we're going to take the arms up overhead as far as you can go and then circle it back just like this. Ooh, I already heard some cracks in there in my shoulders. And I want you to think about um, your shoulders and what's actually going on here right now. So lots of times our shoulders kind of get stuck, right, in one position. We're at a computer, we're driving, we're doing one thing at a time, we're really focused, we're down, right, so everything's forward. And so right now we're taking our shoulders for a little ride. We're taking them all the way around into all the different positions that it can go. So this is helping the joints, this is helping create fluidity. Uh, your you know the synovial fluid is getting back in there so that you can feel nice and mobile it's kind of like oiling up tin man right now <laughs> okay so now we're going to take the arms up overhead and this is an interesting one where we're going to be in both external and internal rotation here so you're going to leave the front arm where it is and you're going to take the other one and you're going to just rotate the shoulder forward just like this and you're going to go up and then go to the other side. So you notice this one is by my ear, the other one is turned in. So lift up and then turn it in. So it's very interesting with our muscles and our soft tissues and our joints is that and they need a cleaning too. So just like how we floss our teeth and our gums, we're basically doing the same thing right here. We're taking our um, movement and using it as a way to floss in between all the little joints there. So it's kind of an interesting concept, but really good to think about, you know, taking care of your body, doing these types of stretches. is just like the same thing of you flossing and brushing your teeth every single day. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna let go of the strap here. And then we're going to bring the feet together. So bring the feet together and then circle the arms up. They should feel nice and open and warm right now. You're gonna take your little yogi gun. So first finger and thumb are together and then go ahead and clasp the fingers. Reach up, nice and long and tall. The arms are slightly behind my ears. Make sure that you're still in external rotation. You'll know if uh, you're in external rotation if your pinkies are touching. If you're like this, where the pinkies are kind of coming apart, then you know that the arms are starting to internally rotate. So externally rotate those shoulders so they can stay in a nice, safe position. And we're going to lift up. So I want you to first lift up. Yes, we're getting taller, right? This video is all about how to make yourself taller. So lift up. You're gonna literally use your own muscles to lift yourself up. See if you can get up higher, 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 higher. I feel all of the muscles around my ribs working really hard. So those are the lats, the serratus, the obliques, the erector spinae muscles. Lift up really tall, nice. Now keep the solidness here in the hips and the feet and keep the length as you begin to bend over to the side. Now we're going to a lateral flexion to the side. We're stretching out the left side. We're creating a rainbow arc 
Beautiful. So don't start to collapse in like this and definitely don't push the ribs out. Pretend like you have a corset on. Everything's nice and tight and in. And lift and stretch. So you should feel a stretch all the way from your hip bone to your fingertip. Nice. Use that core. Yes, you got to turn that core on. It might be shaking a little bit. We're using those obliques. Nice. See if you can go a little bit further, a little bit further, and come back to the center and release the hands. It's a lot of work to stand up tall, right? Okay, so uh, let's do that now on the other side because you are blessed with two sides. So let's uh, first turn the arms out, so externally rotate. So by the time you get up here, you'll be in the, in the perfect external rotation. Nice. We're gonna begin with lifting up first here like this. So lift up, lift up taller, lift up taller nice I'm literally lifting myself up pretend like you had two hands here and someone's just lifting your whole body up like that but you want to do it on your own from the inside and you might need to actually take your own hands yourself just to see proprioceptor your own body and feel what it would feel like to actually lift yourself up and then try to just recreate that feeling from the inside so lift up tall lift up lift up lift up Nice, keep everything solid from the hips down like they're glued together and then reach over to the side. So lateral flexion over to the left, reach, reach, reach. Feel that rainbow arc happening from the left, from the right hip all the way to the fingertips. I'm even using the bottom arm a little bit to help guide the top arm. Nice, keep the pinkies together so that the shoulders stay in that external rotation. See if you can stretch out even more. Lift up taller. See where you can get longer here. Close the ribs. Use the core. Nice. Maybe you can go a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, and use the core to come on up. Release the arms. Whew. I know. A lot of postural muscles working there, especially if you're someone who's kind of slouched like this all day. So this is really good to do every single day. Okay, so we're going to continue on here. We're going to take the hand. We're going to place the top of the fingers on the back here like this. All right, so now you're going to take the other hand and you're going to reach around and grab, hopefully, for your shoulder or for your elbow here. If that's too much to grab, then you don't have to grab. Or you could actually come to a wall and use the wall as an assistance to bring the arm closer in. So you can either use your own hand here like this or you can come to the wall and use the wall as a feedback, as a lever to go further in the stretch. Great, so I'm gonna show you here with my back. So I'm gonna grab onto the elbow, and what I'm gonna do is just hold this stretch right here. But now we're gonna do a cool little thing. I want you to take your fingernails, and you're going to press them into your own back. So you might feel new muscles turn on that you might have never felt before. Keep pressing those fingertips into your back, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, and then release. See if you got any more um, openness there. So that's called a PNF, proprioception, neuromuscular facilitation. Long, really, really long word. So that's why we just call it PNF. But you're creating more space through the tension. Great. Press the fingertips in. Do it one more time. Press in. Press. 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 You're not going to see anything, but I'm just pressing internally, pressing my fingertips into my own back and then try to go a little more. Great. Okay, let that go. I know I'm sweating. Who knew you'd be sweating just to stretch? Okay, so now let's go to the other side. So use the wall if you need to, so you could just, no matter where you are, you could do the same thing here. You could just press into the wall like this, and you can still work on pressing the fingertips into the back as well. So you're gonna bring the fingers up and then grab the elbow. Nice, so just feel this position here. Try not to stand with the belly out like this, right? You wanna keep the core in, lift up from a engaged tight core. Great, so now we're gonna take those fingertips, press them into your back. Press them into your back. Press, 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 press. So you're moving away. So the shoulder is going from forward, right? And when you press the fingertips, the shoulder begins to open up and stretch. Nice, now let that go. See if you got any more uh, room. Maybe you could even grab a little bit further on the hand. And then one more time, press the fingertips deeply into your back. And my left arm, I can tell, is much tighter and much 
um, weaker, way weaker than my right, which makes sense, right? I'm right-handed, so my right arm would be uh, stronger. Good, and let that go. And release out, nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, the last stretch we're going to do is a really, really easy stretch. So just take the legs nice and wide. We're going to flex up the hips and just release all the way down. Now this is kind of a treat, a little reward for you guys. So you're going to grab onto opposite elbow here and you're just going to hang. If you need to bend the knees, definitely bend the knees and then just sway side to side. Maybe you even feel the vertebrae starting to separate off of each other and just allow yourself to be heavy. Let gravity do a lot of the work here, but still keep some tension here on the adductors, making sure that you're not totally letting that go, especially if you're hypermobile like me. You're gonna definitely feel your hamstrings, your, your calves, your gastrocnemius stretch out. So hold on here, really let gravity do its thing. Remember your head is 10 pounds at least. So let the head be like a weight that's going to stretch everything from the top of your head down to your sacrum. Beautiful, and then bend the knees, slowly roll up, one vertebrae at a time, coming up. Whew, all right, so I hope you enjoyed that and you should be feeling taller right now and I'd love to hear how you feel now in your own body, what you learned type below, comment, and I will be chatting with you very soon. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet, and go check out all the other videos I have. I have so many resources for you, and uh, I will see you next time. All right, bye.